as this unravels, to me, you start realizing that, like, oh, these guys who just talk all day every day no longer know what they're saying. Like, I believe that. I believe at a certain point, if you're just memeing and tweeting and Instagram, at a certain point, you literally don't even know what you're saying. Let's go to this one. Biggest poison in us is regret. It's poison. And I push so hard, so hard, and will, through my vehicle, which isn't meditation, which isn't health and wellness, which isn't nonprofit, my vehicle's business. I can't help it. It's what I love. I love building businesses. I love competing with you. I want to beat you. I love that game. But through that vehicle, I will always push a lack of regret and awareness to how good it really is. You're more than welcome to tell me about how bad it is or why you can't because or what, but it's just not true. Because if anybody ever did it, then you can too. Stop making excuses. Stop complaining. Nobody's listening. They may make pretend they're listening. The market doesn't care. This is so bad. What you, you need to do is make one so person happy. You. Then you can make everybody else happy. Work. You know why I like making people happy? Because I'm already happy. And so I implore you to take this last little rant and really look at your fucking face and understand, are you doing the things that are putting you in a position to succeed? Mom, Not just in like business Tyler world, Durden. but in life. Yeah, yeah, because it's yeah. super important. You know, you're you're happy. Happy. When you're happy in life, <laughs> your fucking business can roll. And so, I'm just trying to figure Who it out. Who needs this? I've been what? trying to figure it out. In front of you for the shut last it off, seven, Shannon. Eight. Who, with a fucking idea and a clue, needs this Car is, See, this is not who it's for. This is for like the Oprah <laughs> crowd. This is for like people who are like five hundred pounds and like like yeah, they he's... can't get out of their house and like they they fucking they work in a fucking frozen yogurt place and like they're almost getting fired. And it's like, hey, fuck that guy from manager of yours. You you can be a goddamn singer if you want. Why don't you go start a fucking karaoke?